learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. According to the VAC model, most people possess a dominant or preferred learning style. However, some people can have a mixed or evenly balanced blend of all three styles. We all start out as hands-on learners and choose a dominant style in our early elementary years. It is also important to note that just because you might lean more towards one style, you can still learn using the other styles. It may just be a little harder, and chances are you've already had to adapt to your coworkers, professors, and even your family members' styles. The three types of learners are visual learners, auditory learners, and kinesthetic learners, also known as hands-on learners. Visual learners learn through seeing, Auditory learners learn through listening. Kinesthetic learners learn through moving, doing, and touching. You might be a visual learner if you like to think in pictures and often create mental images to retain information. If you prefer receiving written directions for assignments or jobs, and if you enjoy looking at maps, charts, pictures, videos, and even watching movies. Completing puzzles, reading, and writing are also things that you enjoy. You might find yourself sketching, painting, constructing, and fixing things. If you like to sit in the front of the classroom, it really usually isn't because you want to be the teacher's pet. It's because you want to see the teacher, her nonverbal movements, and you want to see any visual items she has in her presentation. You might be an auditory learner if you think in words rather than in pictures. You have a highly developed auditory skills and are generally good at speaking and presenting. You also like verbal directions and you really do learn best through verbal lectures, discussions, talking through things, and listening to what others have to say. You are also a good listener, a good writer, and a good storyteller. You may find that you like to read aloud or listen to audiobooks. This way you can hear and then interpret the words. You might be a kinesthetic or hands-on learner if you learn best through moving, doing, and touching. You often express yourself through movement and you do have a good sense of balance and hand-eye coordination. You remember and process information by interacting with the world, with space, and with the objects around you. You can get fidgety at times, and you really sometimes just can't sit still. Most of the time, you will find yourself experimenting and using your hands to create and build. You now know the basics of the learning styles, but I wanted to share some tips and tricks for each style. As a visual learner, you can use colored highlighters to highlight the important information, and it makes it visually appealing to you. You can draw graphics or mind maps to represent information that you're learning. You may read passages, then close your eyes just to visualize the information you just read. Sometimes if you're memorizing, you can memorize the steps of a procedure by picturing the steps in chronological order in your mind. This helps you recall the information visually when you're taking a test or actually doing the procedure. As an auditory learner, you enjoy study groups and retain more information from them. You like to recite information over and over because it helps you learn. You also like to use storytelling to get your point across to people in your personal and even in your professional life. Using rhymes or tunes and mnemonic devices help you recall larger pieces of information. Do you remember learning the mnemonic Roy G. Biff? It was probably back in elementary school, so there might be a chance you forgot it. But just in case you did, it is the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. As a kinesthetic learner, you need to be moving, touching, and doing. Listening to music while working and studying helps you remember and learn. Taking breaks, getting up, and moving around helps you use your extra energy so you can easily return to the task at hand. When reading, you can skim the reading material and then reread it later for better comprehension. You can walk and talk out loud as you read to help memorize information. Here are some learning strategies for instructors. As an instructor, I can add visual cues throughout my lectures that include pictures, graphs, videos, and I can also use colored dry erase markers or smart board pens or even chalk if you still have a chalkboard to make the content visually appealing. 
When it comes time to assign a task or assignment, I can use visual cues along with auditory directions. This can be as simple as handing out a printed copy of the assignment and reviewing it with the class. As an instructor, I can help my auditory learners by incorporating group discussions into classroom time. I can also give oral instructions for tasks and assignments. It also helps if I show videos that complement the text or the materials I just lectured on. To help my kinesthetic learners, I can include hands-on activities in my classroom. I also need to make sure I vary the instructional methods to keep them interested and less fidgety. Adding short breaks in between instruction also helps keep them on task. You can also go on field trips where the content can be enhanced with activity, visuals, and movement that will also help your kinesthetic learners. I just shared a brief overview of visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning style model with you. I want you to remember that just because a person leans more towards one style, they can still learn using the other styles. It's just a little bit awkward for them and a bit harder. 